What's going on guys, FJ Eric here, and we just installed this 12,000 pound Badlands winch. Uh, we replaced the wire cable with nylon. Also installed the Badlands wireless winch controller. The Badlands fair lead, uh, which I'm gonna replace with a black one just because I'm not a real big fan of this chrome one. All of this stuff I got at Harbor Freight. Uh, the winch normally was, I think like 425 or something like that. They had a sale, I got it for 380. Um, or actually, funny story about that. They had that sale and the 9,000 pound was $389, but since they were out of stock on those, the dude gave me the 12,000 pound uh, for 389. So that was pretty cool. Also got the Badlands nylon rope a lot cheaper too. I think it retails for 129, got it for 103. All of this going into a res fab bumper. I think it's the V2, don't quote me on that though, um, as far as the model, but really like the look of this bumper. Um, for the price and the wait time and stuff like that. We did run into a few issues that I uh, wasn't really aware of um, Just on the back side of it the AC condenser line was actually pinched between the bumper and the frame It ended up getting a crack in it And that's why I haven't had AC for like two years and the bracket from the hood latch was also uh, Pinched in between the bumper so got a little bit of damage on both sides of that the bolt to the bottom of the AC condenser was actually rubbing against the bumper um, and it just made like an awful squeaking noise. We've got a piece of rubber on it right now, but there is really not that much room to play with underneath there. For this winch to fit, we actually had to take the bracket off holding the AC line. The lower frame brackets were bent out, um, so we had to hammer those in. Ended up stripping one of the bolts uh, just because it wouldn't line up just right. As far as having enough room to actually mount the winch in here, we did only have one problem, and that was with the front of the bumper being slanted right here. Um, when you replace the nylon rope, you have to take the tensioner off. Um, which was fine because that wasn't going to fit anyways. The power box is going to be hidden uh, right behind here along with that wireless controller. It was very small. It was almost about the same size as maybe like the pedal commander if you've got one of those. Um, just to give you an idea. So you can really put that wherever you want to. And while I was at Harbor Freight, I had to buy the heavy duty shackle or D-ring uh, that was there. It holds roughly, I think it said 30,000 pounds. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know what it's rated for, but it's definitely not that. It's just for looks right now. Obviously, if I'm towing something or somebody, I'm going to replace it with something else. As far as the overall design, though, of this winch, um, if you've got a closed-in bumper, it works really, really well. The only thing uh, is you not be able to get to the clutch to put it in free spool. That's why we ended up buying that wireless controller. But if you've got one that's cut out on top, you can do that. So we're about to go to the park, test this thing out. One last thing that we did add. It's going to be, we actually have the relay box in here now, um, so that's really slick looking. And we've got this winch hooked straight to the battery. So we're going to head out to the park, test this winch really fast, um, and I'll see y'all out there. Alright, so we're actually at the park where we went camping uh, during the drawer build. So I'll put the link above and below so y'all can check that out. It was really cool. Uh, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Uh, so John has actually got a lot more recovery gear than I do. Um, Thank you, John, for letting me use this stuff. Yeah, man, no problem. I will, I will be buying my own stuff and putting the links below for y'all to buy y'all's own stuff. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to back down um, in this water area and then tie to this tree and just pull me through that. There you go. 
Hey, hey, that works. That's good. That's good. Free thing. Free service Amazon. Really? Yeah, slide that the uh, little sleeve thing right there, slide that up against the knot. Yeah, put that there you go. Now turn it to where the knot's in the middle. Right? Like in the back no, 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 right there, no. Yep, right there. There you go. Take that. Yeah, that's like just a cheap tree saver at uh, on Amazon. I like the shackle thing though. They're just like buy one piece. So after first test, I know it wasn't completely stuck, uh, but it did do its job. John said it was pulling really well. Everything worked really well under tension, so it should pass the test once I'm out there on my trip. Um, that's really the main reason I got it, it's just because I'm going to be by myself most of the time. Definitely want to grab me some of those soft shackles though, because uh, I can see where that could really come in handy. But as far as the install, and like I said, us using it just now, I have no doubt that this thing's going to take care of me. I'm actually really curious to see how long the batteries are going to last just in this remote uh, before I have to replace them. Didn't really say anything about the lifetime on them, uh, so we'll see. But I guess that's everything for this video. Not really sure what's coming up next. Uh, before I head out, I know I still have a few more things to do and time is really not on my side. But like this video, share, subscribe. Thanks so much. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.